Hey everybody, the Reeswirl here, and welcome back to Champions of Norath Realms of EverQuest. Okay, so we're in the caverns of the Farallon, and I'm actually, I believe, I hope anyway, I'm playing on disc 2 now. Because the, the, the version of Champions of Norath I have is a two disc version, so I, I've got the, the second disc in, and I, I think it's working. Well, I mean, I'm playing, and if I go back to Black Delve Reach, is that what it's called? I believe. I'm still able to, like, go to the merchant and sell stuff, so I'm fine in that regard. Uh, what should I do? Blessed, sure. Bless myself. Oh my god, I forgot how loud this was. <sighs> yeah, I forgot, that's something they always do. Douche, douche, raw. Dush, dush, raw. Blah, blah, blah. It's so loud. But what I'll do... There's like 30. I'm pretty sure there's like 30 skeletons. Oh, they've blocked us in. Great! Absolutely! Oh, shit. Oh no, there's 21. As you can imagine. Bit of a pain. But just leave, leave them to it. And run around. Essentially is my plan. Just run away and let my hammer do all the work. Doo -doo. Oh, I lost my blessing. Piece of crap. Go hammer of justice. Although in fairness, the hammer should be doing circular attacks by now. And for some reason it isn't. Hmm. Strangely enough. Oh, this is working a treat. My goodness. Honestly, if I was any other class, I really have no idea how I'd do half of this. Like, seriously, I don't have a damn clue how I'd be able to do this. Ouch. I'm fine, I'm fine. Gate scroll, boop. I was about to say, I'm probably good enough to, to fight back now. Yeah. Ha ho! There we go. I was about to say, so that's the first part of the boss done. <clears throat> but we have another boss. Actually, no, we have archers that are just, like, stood up there, but don't... I don't know if they actually attack us. They may do. But we have a boss. Uh, it's this guy. He's a bit of a pain in the ass. He has two forms. It's like a, f a fire form he sends forward towards you. And then his actual form, which is him. Like the one that's not in engulfed in fire. There he is. Undead Knight is his name. And kicking my ass is his game. Oh no. I didn't realise he was so close. Go on, hammer. Jesus. Please do more damage. He does he constantly summons the uh the fire knight. Or the fire form, whatever it is. But, because we have the hammer, everything is so easy. Wow. I'm glad I chose the cleric. Seriously, I am over the moon that I chose the cleric. Oh, crap. Well, in fairness, I had no idea how how the game was going to play out, to be honest. I, I thought it was going to be... I don't know, because I've only ever really played as the Dark Elf Shadow Knight, and playing as him... I mean, it's not a difficult thing. Like, the game's not, like, difficult or anything, but it is, I'd say, marginally harder, because, well, with with all the other classes, they're good in, like, one regard, whereas the Dark Elf Shadow Knight's not really... Eh, he's not really good at anything. Like, he's kind of like the Jack of All Trades. He's good at everything, but he's not, like, really great in one specific place. I suppose. Um, right, well, we got Ice Flame, which is a pretty good weapon. Actually worse than my current, kind of. Uh, we got some boots, armor, helmet, and a shield. Is that better? No, that's 34. Eh, whatever. <clears throat> I did get, yeah, 10 mana and in intelligence. The Sage's Earrings. Cool. Right, now we can actually enter the... Castle of Lord Vanahost.
I did actually play for a bit to test whether or not the second disc worked. But the way I did it was I input the cheat that um, automatically or that levels you up to level 20. Just so I didn't have to worry about, like, you know, being conservative with what I was using and stuff. I could quite literally just, you know, kill, kill everything without any issue. What the hell is he on about? Yeah, I could just kill anything I wanted, which is what I wanted to do. And that's why I did it. It worked out really well, to be honest. Oh, these are skeletons. Okay. One thing I don't like about this location in, in specific is the layout. Like, it's laid out really nicely. I hate the fact I can't see shit, though. Like, that's one thing that's really off-putting. Like, obviously, if you can't see something, it's annoying. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh, God. Jesus. Need to remember that I'm not invincible. Unfortunately. I am still curious whether or not I'm actually going to ever find a weapon that exceeds my current. Because I don't think I am. Like, that's still 23 to 31. I'm still finding weapons for level 3s. And I'm level 13. Oh god. I was like, I wonder if they're waiting behind the door. Turns out they were. I should probably do that. Just make use of the blessing. Makes a good... makes sense. Okay. I don't know where the chests are in this location. Interestingly enough. I really want to know how you do that. It's like where you constantly block. Ah, oh, crap. I was about to say, I've just run out of my, my mallet. My wonder hammer! I'm just... I'm calling it everything under the sun. Oh, I can't carry it. It's too much. Yeah, it's it's too much. I cannot carry it. It will not fit in my pack. Oh, of course it won't. I can only carry point three of stuff. That is a bit of a... Holy fuck. A bit of a problem. That's massive. Jesus. Let's go. One giant hammer. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 -da. But in this session, we should hopefully make it to Act 3. Because I'm pretty sure the act ends in Castle Vanahost. Or Vanarost. That's how uh, the Dockman says it. Okay. Whoa. I just realised Ice Flame was worth 8 grand. Not fucking bad. <coughs> Should I sell those? Yes. Yeah. Do you sell anything? Like, you know, uh, a blunt weapon that'll be better than me current? No, it's not. No, I don't. Of course he doesn't. It's weird, though. Like, if I was to. If I was a sword user, I need to buy a scroll. Welcome. Well, what was it? Thank you. Yeah, if I was a sword user, I would have found really good weapons. Like, I would have found so many replacement weapons, but it's because I'm a blunt... I can only use blunt weapons that I'm kind of shafted, to be honest. It, it kind of sucks, but eh. You make of it what you can. Hey, I can pick that up. That might be good, though. Although it's a two-handed sword. With, uh, <laughs> ah, it's not a sword. A two-handed hammer. Holy balls! That was an explosion of potions. It was an explosion, I guess. Potion explosion! They have a lot of vases. Or vases. If you're very particular with your words. Now, a singular gold coin. A gold piece. Is there actually any difference? Oh god. I don't know why that scared me. Yeah, is there any difference if you say a gold piece or gold coin? I don't think there is. It's just different terminologies, I suppose. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm technically just asking a rhetorical question because I don't actually want to know the answer. It's just, you know, one of those things that's on the mind, so I figured I'd just ask for no real reason. Oh, of all the locations in the game, I'd say this is probably one of my favourites. It just looks really cool. I'm not, although as I've said, I'm not a fan of some of its layout because it obstructs your view, which I find to be a bit of a pain in the butt. But aside from that, 
I do like the, the location a lot. I did pick up a mace as well. Ooh, an elven one. How lovely. I lost my blessing. Oh no. In all fairness, enabling the blessing as much as possible is probably something I should do. And it makes sense. Or more to the point, it makes no sense to not do it. Crap. Ho oh, ho! Oh. That was incredibly close. Wait, I heard something. Ah, oh, there we go. A cracked true shot bow and an, and an alloy cleaver. Lovely. Um, I can try that, sure. Nice. Heal actually works out pretty good, to be honest. Like, it, it, I'd say it does need a little bit more, like, levels into it, but for what it is, it, it's pretty good. The only downside is the amount of mana it requires, because it's, it's one hell of a high usage. It uses up, like, four bars of your mana bar. <coughs> four chunks. Four chunks of the mana bar. More than anything. Boosh. That guy got fucked. Anyway, I keep forgetting to reapply the blessing. Oh! Snap. We should get acquainted with a very busty uh, character soon as well. Alright, we actually get acquainted with that person right now. Right here. Uh, right now. Maybe not right here, actually. Somewhere very, very soon. I know that much. Oh, wait, here we go. I think it is here. Yeah, because this is like a lobby. Yes. Here we go. Boom. Yeah, it is here. Okay. A very busty person. But before I do that, I'm going to destroy everything I see. Now, the cutscene will play now. There she is. She's also wearing barely anything. Do you know why you have come? Nope. It is the allure of this place. The allure of the lord of this castle. All of our kind carry such power. You know of what I speak. Oh my god, this game's got jiggle physics. Ah. Uh, Jesus. Your heart rate is quickening. She quite literally wears nothing. From here. Beating. Like a drum. Such sensual music. Warm. Hungry. Is it fear that causes your heart to beat so? Do not be frightened. We are not strangers. You knew of me when you were a child upon your grandmother's knee. What? Though you dare not speak it, your heart knows my nature. And your mind knows the one word your tongue dare not admit. Mm -hmm. Vampire. Oh. Drinker of life. I am Silea, and I know the reason you are here. You pursue the one called Pelus, who wears an orc's face and treats even my lord Banist oh. as a servant. Pelus. I will tell you where this Pelus may be found, but such knowledge carries a price. I'll bet. You won't close. You speak. My price is not blood. Believe what you will, but I have no wish to sink my fangs into any mortal creature like some bloated parasite. I wish to fight these urges, lest I surrender what is left of the Silea that was and become no more than a beast. At the edge of the sea, near the village of the gnomes, grows a flower called the blood vine. When I eat it, it diminishes my urge to feed. Hmm. Follow this hall, and you will emerge close to where the blood vine grows. Bring it back to me. And I will lead you through this castle to this palace you seek. Perhaps. Wait, but you must what? hurry. Without the blood vine, 
My urges grow ever stronger. Soon they will devour the last of my resistance, and then nothing will be able to stop my cravings. Okay. You're welcome. And yeah, I don't know why she's wearing literally no clothes. It seems to be a bit... a bit... Well, to be honest, it's quite weird in any sense, but even... even more so when you're in a fucking castle. Like an underground castle. Like that place must be freezing. And she's wandering around in like a fucking bikini. Crazy bitch. Wait, I heard like a skeleton. Did I? I need the cell key. Oh, we're in the prison. I just saw something fall. It was either a spider or a spittle. Maybe I put too much emphasis on what I was saying. Yeah, the navigator should be here. Unless there's two parts to the... to the prison. There must be, because I don't see anybody. Maybe, I'm not sure. Either way. Let us go! Oh god. Demon! Still my... the creepiest enemy 